What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news content and updates for you guys and we have some major and exciting news here for you today in regards to Dragon Ball Daima being within Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Shout out to DBS Hype. The GOAT is back on Twitter and all of his social media platforms so I'll leave a link to him down in the description below but he does tweet out Dragon Ball Daima Tsuri event has been announced to be held at Tokyo Big Site on October 6th, these are the details. The details is a free invite only event, total of three screenings will be done for the world premiere of Daima's episode one. So it seems as if Dragon Ball Daima will have already have come out by that time. Either it's already have come out by that time or it has probably, this is probably the only day that'll be premiere. So maybe the people that are attending this event will basically be getting the first episode of Dragon Ball Daima exclusively at this event. But you know, there's probably gonna be people recording this premiere and stuff like that. But I don't know, we still don't have a official confirmation date for this yet in terms of Dragon Ball Daima. We don't have an official confirmation date for it yet. So we're just gonna have to wait. But it says Masako Nuzawa will be present. If you guys don't know who that is, that is the voice actor or the Japanese voice actor for Goku. Venue will have booths of various Dragon Ball games, including a demo of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. That's very, very exciting. Thank goodness for that. And then it says a main stage will be held to reveal latest information on several games. So it seems like that'll be the last thing that they're going to be doing. They're going to be revealing information on the games that I'll show on the screen right now. It is for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and then Dragon Ball Super Divers. A lot of you guys don't know what that last game is. That's basically a Dragon Ball card game. So that's really, really exciting. Again, this is on October 6th. So this is pretty far away. We're gonna have to wait a little bit longer than expected for something like this. This is literally, I believe, two days prior to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero actually being released for everybody that ordered, you know, the Ultimate Edition, or the collector's edition or something like that if you just got the standard edition then I think it'll come out uh, I think it's the 11th for all of you guys who got the standard edition so you guys will have to wait I believe it's four more days or five more days but it may be a little bit confusing like what are they gonna announce for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero that close to its release date we're actually going to discuss that right now so take a look at this Shout out to Air Dokkan. I'll also leave a link to him down in the description below so you guys can go check him out. But he is a reliable leaker within the Dragon Ball community. It says Dragon Ball Daimatsuri schedule October 6th world premiere of the Dragon Ball Daima first episode. Info on Daima content for Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Legends, Sparking Zero, and other games. So it seems as if what we're going to be getting in terms of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and just Dragon Ball in general when it comes to Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends, we will be getting new information in regards to playable characters, what the DLCs will look like and stuff like that for Dragon Ball Daima. So it seems like we'll be getting new cards or new characters for Dragon Ball Daima or that's related to Dragon Ball Daima in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and in also in Dragon Ball Legends. So that's something really exciting to look forward to as well. However, it also seems as if we're gonna be getting more information on what the DLC exactly would look like for Dragon Ball Daima in Sparking Zero. So that's gonna be really, really cool to see. It seems like we're gonna be getting basically a teaser for the DLC a lot sooner than we expected. This does not necessarily mean that we will be getting the Daima DLC before the superhero DLC. I want you guys to keep in track of this, that number one, it seems as if the superhero DLC and the Dragon Ball Daima DLCs will be incorporated within three different DLCs. That's based off of what we've seen in the last panel of every single trailer that we've seen so far. So my assumption is, is that they're gonna be doing the Dragon Ball Daima DLC first and they'll keep it very minimal with the characters. Maybe they'll add mini Goku, mini Supreme Kai, mini Vegeta, ba basically basic characters that we've seen from the trailer so far. And then the second DLC will probably be Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. And then the third DLC, when Dragon Ball Daima eventually does wrap up, the series does wrap up, they'll obviously conclude the entire DLC of Dragon Ball Daima with a third DLC. So that's basically just my assumption on how they're going to do it. I think that's what makes the most sense. I don't know if they're going to announce anything in like in terms of Dragon Ball Super Super Hero at this panel. It seems like they're only going to be announcing Dragon Ball Daima stuff at this panel. Again, this is very, very close to the actual release date for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So we're not going to get that much for it here. The most that we're going to be getting for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is definitely going to be within 
August and September. We will definitely not be getting a lot of info for Sparking Zero by the time it's in October. We'll have basically everything out by the time it's this month, which is already August, so happy August, and then obviously when we get to September as well. So you guys can look forward to that as well. But it's really cool to see how they're already basically giving us news for what we can expect on, dra on what Dragon Ball Diamond will consist of in terms of the video game content. I think that's very, very exciting. If you look at the actual panel right here, it says Dragon Ball Daima will be the first screening. Sparking Zero stage will literally come right after the first screening for episode one of Dragon Ball Daima. So that's going to be really, really cool. It literally gives us Sparking Zero straight afterwards. So obviously you guys can do your time conversions and whatnot whenever you do see this. But right here is the Super Diver stage, Dragon Ball Daima episode one. So it seems like they're doing they're doing different premieres throughout this event for Dragon Ball Di for the episode of Dragon Ball Daima. In the beginning, they're going to do one. In the middle, they're going to do one. And then at the end, they're going to do one. But in between the middle and the end, they're going to be doing a Dragon Ball Fusion World event stage. And then obviously a Dokkan and Legends event stage. And that'll be incorporated within the same panel. So that's going to be really, really cool. I don't play Dokkans or Legends, but that's for all of you guys who play Dokkans and Legends out there. But yeah, no, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I'm very, very hyped to see the Dragon Ball Dima series. And I'm more excited to see how the series is going to Going to be incorporated within the video game so i honestly cannot wait and look forward to that subscribe to the channel if you guys are new ring that notification bell if you want to be updated with anything dragon ball related and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out